The next boat in the evolution of dinghy cruising is the Long Steps. This adventure boat draws on the walkabout for hull design, the scamp for features, all combined with a focus on integrating rowing in a practical way. So here we are, middle of October, looking at Long Steps. John, talk us through some of the features of this, of this design. Okay, 5.85 metres long by uh, 1.55 wide. Big ballast tank underneath in there, big cuddy in there. There's space in there to sit fairly comfortably, lots of storage forwards. The idea about the boat though is that it is a combination rowing and sailing boat. There's no provision for a motor, although that can be built in. It's intended as a long distance adventure boat. With the freedom to design a bigger boat, the long steps brings a lot of things together. The hull balances all the right components. It has a built-in combing with the cuddy, there is a water ballast and a drop keel. The rig is a balanced lug sail with mizzen yaw to provide sailing versatility and the cockpit is one of the best around. We'll self right from past 90 degrees. She's got shelter for when, if the weather really, really gets nasty, you can sling a sea anchor over the side, get up in the shelter and preserve your life. No hypothermia, no bad weather issues and just sit until the weather calms down. Um, it'll be very efficient sailors. Well, what is it about the design that'll make it quick for sailing? Okay, quite a, quite a high power to weight ratio because she's got a lot of ballast in it so it's quite stable mm -hmm. when she heels over a little bit in spite of the narrow water line. Offset centerboard in here. It actually comes right back to here. It's quite large. Oars, oars and paddles store up underneath here. There's space for a nine foot oar in there. Carrying too much weight out in the ends of a boat that's as fine underwater as this gets the boat out of trim. So we've got a 30 kilogram battery going in up there. We need to balance it by putting a heap of weight back in here. 